This speaking squibbish was inspired because I watched a friend's video this morning and I thought about doing a video response, but I really thought a speaking squibbish would be more appropriate. Now speaking squibbish is why I say what I say, why I do what I do, why I think the way I think, why I am the way I am. These are my opinions and my opinions alone and I'm not trying to change anyone else's mind. You can use the same platform to make videos disputing what I say or talking about your own opinions or experiences. Despite what the e-beggars say, this doesn't cost anything. It just takes courage to do. This speaking squibbish is my pers from my perspective as a veteran. To some extent, what I'm going to talk about has to do with law enforcement and some forms of security, but I'm just going to go at it from the veteran angle. And I could ramble on about trying to convey to somebody who's not a veteran what it's like to be in the military or what it's like to be a veteran, but I'll never really convey that 100%. So don't think I don't believe that you have a right to an opinion just because you didn't serve. You do have a right to an opinion. And that's what the comment section below is for if you'd like to. So this speaking squibbish is about people I will call posers. These are people who talk the talk but don't walk the walk. They seem to think as long as they have the gear, that's all they need. If they're wearing it, if they look the part, then they obviously have the skill and experience and most importantly, the mindset. And that's not accurate. Just because you have the gear doesn't mean that you really know how to use it. And just because you learn how to use it doesn't mean that you will if you ever come up on a scenario where you have to make a really tough choice. You see, there's lots of people out there that seem to think that as long as they've got a plate carrier and night vision, that they're an absolute total badass and that they're going to survive the boogaloo or the zombie apocalypse or shit hits the fan. There are people that have a fantasy scenario in their mind about something that will probably never happen. That's the reality of it. There's nothing wrong with being a prepper. As a matter of fact, what happened in 2020, the preppers were the ones that were ready for that sort of thing. And there was civil unrest. And, and it, but it was in isolated areas, and there was the threat of larger civil unrest, and it's still there. And there's, there's the threat of other things. We could have an EMP, and the grid is down potentially forever, etc., etc. But the people out there that seem to think that as long as they've got a gun with 16 things hanging off of it, and body armor, that they're good to go, they're, they're kind of, I think they really don't understand that it takes a lot more than that. And I think there's some people, too, that spend their money uh, driving several states away to take a class by somebody with a loud mouth who wears a tight t-shirt, has a shaven head and a goatee, who says they're the greatest thing on this earth and everything they do is right and everything you do is wrong. You're giving them your hard-earned money for them to train you their way, and you may never find a practical use for this training. It's time and money not well spent. However, it is your time and your money. So let me make it clear that I think that you should have the right to have this gear. You should never be denied access to this gear. You should have the right to this training. You should have this right to, to the right to do this sort of training if you know you're in an area where it's legally allowed, like out in the country and you're shooting or something like that, right? I am not saying that you shouldn't have the right to this. Do not mistake my opinions about posers as me saying something should be banned or something should be illegal. I don't believe that at all. As a veteran, me and a whole bunch of other people served so that you have the right to spend your money on the gear. You have the right to training. You have the right to have these firearms and ammunition and all the other things that you think make you one of us, but you're not one of us. Now, there are things that are more practical in life than having body armor and having night vision. For example, some of the people that go on social media with this stuff, I've seen them. They're so fat and out of shape, they wouldn't last five minutes out there. Can you pick somebody up and carry them up a hill? Do you even know how to do a fireman's carry? Do you know how to do first aid? Do you have any defensive driving skills in, in case you're somewhere and you come around the corner and there's an angry mob and you need to get out of there? Do you know how to navigate without a GPS, without your cell phone? Can you survive without electricity? Do you know how to purify water or survive in the woods or even survive in an urban environment with no outside support, without the internet, without law enforcement there to protect you, without FEMA there to deliver you crappy uh, FEMA food, right? Do you know how to take care of your family 
in a situation? Are you prepared for that sort of thing? Or do you think because you've got your go bag by the door that that's all it takes? Where are you going to? Where are you going to? There's lots of people that want to bug out. But unless you've got a secure bug out location, none of that really matters. You had this, I, I hear people talk about these fantasy scenario where they're walking for days through, through you know, roaming hordes of people. and all, it, Let's get real. Let's get real. Quit living in fantasy land. Because there's people like me who are going to make fun of you because you're a poser. Not to mention the first time you got into a real fight where you ran into an equal number of armed people as your group and they said, give us your stuff or we'll kill you. You're going to set your stuff down and run away sucking your thumb. You are. You're going to run away scared. You're not going to fight. You might say you're going to fight, but you don't have the mindset. You don't know what it's like to take another person's life. You have to live with that forever, even if you legally, lawfully did it in self-defense. And if you freeze up at the moment of truth, not only... Are you going to die? But you may get your friends and family killed too. There's a mindset that comes with that. Do you have the ability to go without sleep for a couple days? How about without eating? Some of you guys that are really big, I don't think you can go five minutes without eating. Do you know what it's like to be able to do something that you've never done before that is scary? Overcome some sort of phobia or fear like height or water or blood or something like that. That's mindset. That's more important than a damn plate carrier. So if there are veterans like me out there that want to make fun of you, we want to say that all you're doing is some form of cosplay or that it's Halloween for you, there's a reason for that. Now, don't get me wrong. You don't have to be a Medal of Honor recipient or a former SEAL to, to voice an opinion like this. You just have to, you have to, I guess, have the training and experience and mindset to be able to back up your words. I can back up my words. Can you really back up your words? Can you really back up the gear that you spent all your money on? Can you really back up some of the things that you say or imply in your social media? Or are you just a poser? So instead of just talking the talk, learn how to walk the walk. And when you do that, then you might have, might have a perspective like mine and you'll realize how ridiculous you were before you learned how to walk the walk. There are a lot of things that are more valuable than gear. And if you know that, you're on your way to being able to protect yourself, to being able to protect your family and being able to adapt whatever you prepared for to a situation that you haven't prepared for. Those are my opinions, my opinions alone. If somebody disagrees with me, leave a comment below. But understand this, if you're just going to troll my channel, you're probably going to get a profane response because you're just a poser like all these other people who seem to think that their gear is more important than what's up in their brain housing group. Thanks for listening.